Hey, what's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com and I got the uh, 110 scale Red Cat Windigo. It's running on a 2S right now, but I did bring a 3S battery for our GPS as well. Kind of see how fast it goes. I'm gonna do basically all the testing, uh, off-road speed runs. There you go, off-road. Uh, because this thing, I'd, I was already kind of forewarned that this thing doesn't, wants to flip over quite a bit. So if it's gonna flip over, I'm gonna do it in the dirt so it doesn't get all scratched and beat up real quick. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this thing right, running. So 2S speed run. Oh man, that's just got mowed, not great. All right, so 15. Eighteen. All right, so three miles an hour difference. All right, so now we're running on a 3S LiPo. See how fast it goes off-road, and then we'll do it on-road as well. That was cool. Let's see. Wow. Wow, 36 miles an hour. Holy crap, man. That's not bad at all, off-roading. That stuff's thick, too. They just cut it off. A little sketchy on top end on wow 45 miles an hour holy crap man <laughs> i wasn't expecting to go 45 wow this thing rips pretty good holy dang not bad at all Alright, so unfortunately, well, whew. let's see, it didn't break, but the little uh, grub screw came out of it, which is a bummer. So I only have front wheel drive, and I don't want to ruin that uh, drive shaft either, just kind of hanging in there, as you can kind of see. Alright, guys, so what happened is the drive shaft didn't break or anything like that, just so in case you didn't see it in the clip so much. But um, it doesn't have any kind of uh, Loctite on it so I was just kind of looking at them like yeah there's no Loctite that was on there so that little grub screw came out and then of course that's why I have the CA glue to kind of clue in on that I just got to glue this tire a little bit that's it impressions on the vehicle anyway when I first got it took it out of the box and at first I was like I don't really care about this one to go because uh, this is around it came out around the same time as the, the Kaiju and I was like yeah the Kaiju and this came out and I was like I don't know man and then, so I let it, you know, I just kind of let it marinate for a while as far as we let other people do their unboxings and whatever, get their experience with it. And then I was like, you know what, I kind of like it. It's kind of grown on me. I saw some video that even Red Cat did on it, and I was like, that thing's kind of cool looking. I mean, maybe so. So then I got it, and I let it sit in the box for about a month. And I took it out of the box, and I was like, man, this thing looks cool. So and I know you guys liked it as well because I got some people like, yeah, I love that thing. You know, it's pretty durable and, you know, really, for the most part, positive feedback. I mean, there were some issues and that kind of goes with cars anyway. Things are going to break, things wear out, and, uh, you know, you're going to start finding those weak spots. But all in all, uh, I'm happy with this thing and it's very smooth as far as how it runs. So I was like, it's nice that it only 18 miles an hour, 15 miles an hour, whatever. On a 2S, I'm down for that. Why? It's because... I can kind of still go and crawl with my buddies and not have all this amount of power that even if I try to give a little bit of power, it's not like going crazy. So I think I dig that. Then when you want to go into ballistic mode, this thing going 45 miles an hour, I was not, no. Um, when I saw it, I was like, really? 45? Like, dang, I was not expecting anything like that. I was thinking, you know, maybe it'll go like 30, you know, maybe a little bit higher than 30 something but not 35 at all. Not even on the radars thinking this thing was gonna go as fast as it did. So I'm impressed with that, man. So good job, Red Cat, as far as that one goes. Um, I've had that type of motor before, that setup, and it was not, it caught me off guard on that part of it. Overall, uh, when I was driving it just on a straightaway, and this was on road, I know 
uh, I, I already kind of forewarned myself anyway when I started the video. I was like, yeah, I shouldn't, you know, if I do speed runs, I should just do them off road. And of course, I was like, of course, you got more resistance off road. So let's see how fast it goes on road as well. And uh, not doing really just kind of testing it out a little bit more as far as the speed on it, see how it's going to handle because sometimes they kind of torque and they start to pull one way really quick. Overall, actually, pretty it's not too unmanageable like you can handle it if you kind of just ease into it uh, but you can see the way that the chassis starts to twist a little bit anyhow you know you start to see it lean um, you can kind of stiffen up with a little bit just adjusting the shocks but I'm okay with just the way it is and I just kind of gave it a little bit of a break and it was a little bit far from me anyway and when I touched the brakes of course it was already going only a couple miles an hour at that point in time and it just I touched it too hard there as far as the brakes and it flipped itself over um, you know, so it's got like a couple little scratches, barely anything that you can see on the body. It's not even worth even showing because it's just minute. And so, you know, this the beginning of many other scratches, I'm sure. But I do like it. It's definitely a keeper. I want to put some LEDs in this thing. I want to run it with some other of my friends with their trail trucks. Just have fun with this thing. I like that uh, that amount of power. Uh, just running on a 2S, man, I'm, I'm down for that because I, you know, can still go faster than the other crawlers. And I think this thing will still do pretty well, even just crawling, even though it's a rock racer. It's definitely a racer because, again, 45 miles an hour is, I don't think that was actually the end of it. I think there was a little bit more left in it anyhow. But I didn't want to push my luck in this thing, flip over and going as fast as it was going. But, yeah, man. So I definitely appreciate it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this thing. Also, if you have one of them, give me more feedback on this. Uh, I will get with Red Cat and to just get some grub screws, whatever. I'll just give my feedback that it seems to be that the that's the only issue. I imagine if I had the issue, probably some other people might have had that problem or they already addressed the issue before they ran it. You know, so it is what it is. But I'm gonna still leave a comment down below or leave a description if you guys want to pick one of these up at our website at omgrc.com. And we do have other payment options as well using like Klarna, so it's kind of like a buy now uh, and you can break it up into slices so you can be you can pay bi-weekly, no interest or you can stretch it out where it's like interest free for six months. Uh, so that's using the Klarna, pretty nice on that. Uh, even Amazon Pay. So if you guys know what Amazon Pay, if you have a credit card, whatever with Amazon, you can use it on our website too. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but other than that, man, definitely appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, you know the drill. And I'll catch you real soon. You guys take care, peace.